Gary Griff Hamlin here from Blues Guitar Unleashed. Welcome and thanks for joining me. In this short lesson, I want to talk to you about a really important strumming technique. And I realize this is not blues specific by any stretch, but you should be able to do this. And if we add a swing to it, you'll see that it could also be used, you know, very much for a blues. So what I'm doing is I'm, I'm effectively creating the illusion of drums. Okay, and I'm doing that by accenting beats two and four, which is exactly what, if we had a drummer, the snare drum would play. Okay, so the way that I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna take something very simple. I'll just take a G chord, nothing fancy. And it doesn't matter whether you play it open or like this, or, you know, you could play G7 if you wanna make this blues, and we'll talk about that here in a second. But what I'm gonna do, if I were to just play every single strum of a measure, it would be one and two and three and four and, right? Every count. One and two and three and four and. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is on beats two and four, I'm gonna just let my palm fall against the strings. So as my pick goes across, I just really don't, I get no sound. So it sounds like one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and two and three four and one and two and three and four and two and three and four and one. And by doing that, like I say, you, you kind of get this idea of some percussion, okay? It, it almost sounds like a snare drum. The chords that you play are completely irrelevant, okay? I, I'm, I picked G, but it would work fine for E. A. D. C. Could be G7. Could be C9. <laughs> Truly, it doesn't matter. Okay, and I can do the exact same thing with uh, if I put a swing feel in it. One, two, a three, a four. A one. A one, a two, a three, a four. A one, a two, a three, a four. Okay, and it always always works and it always gives that nice feeling of movement and all I've done is replace beats two and four with I'll call it a slap for lack of a better words I'm just letting my right hand laying the palm of my right hand just that big old flat part of my hand just lay against the strings as my pick goes across and that's all it takes and it's a great sound I think once you get the hang of it you'll find yourself using it all the time if you don't already. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you get something out of it. As always, if you do value it and get something from it, please share it with your guitar playing friends. And again, I'm Griff Hamlin from Blues Guitar Unleashed. I'll talk to you soon. Take care.